Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Otis and Daidokai and in this video I show you how you can use the Search XT synthesizer like a paraphonic synthesizer. But there will be no old gramophones flying through the air nor will ghost choirs sing to us. It's just a very helpful way to make the sound where it comes from. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription, but let's get started. In the video Polyphony, Paraphony, Monophony from the category Sound Basics, I've talked a little about the differences between Polyphony, Paraphony, Monophony and also pointed out that a discussion about better or worse is completely out of place because the purpose is extremely crucial. You can find the link of the video in the video description and also in the info card which um, will appear as if from the beyond and speak to us mimically. Very briefly, the two most important features of the paraphonic synthesizer. First, it can play several voices, so tones at the same time, in different pitches. Second, all voices use one and the same volume and filter envelope. Now comes the genius of Search XT, which is basically designed as a polyphonic synthesizer and why it always inspires everyone and especially in connection with the clap plugin format. But sometimes the superlative is a little too much because actually only something very simple is needed. Search XT can do not only polyphony, but also real paraphony and also a mixture of paraphony and polyphony. And how that works, I will show you now. Search XT has the standard ADSR centered for the filter FEG here on the left and the AMP ADSR, so volume AEG here on the right. These are working polyphonic by default, so each voice gets its own envelope. In the lower part of Search XT, here in this theme blue, is the modulation routing section in four lines and below are the detail settings for the corresponding modulators. The important line for us is the one that starts with the SLFO. So SLFO1 to SLFO6. These are so-called scene LFOs which do not apply to the individual voices, but to everything such as the entire effect track. These scene SLFOs have the characteristic, if they are set to key trigger, that the first pressed note determines the start of the modulation or envelope, and all other notes pressed in addition, I now call this simplified legato, join in this progression. So paraphonic. As soon as all keys are released and a new key is pressed, the corresponding envelope or modulation starts again. And then of course the key that were pressed or the keys that were pressed after that will line up again in the current progression. This paraphony can be achieved with the SLFOs, the scene LFOs. How is this done concretely? As a task, I want to open and close the filter via ADSR with a slow attack and a slow decay of about two seconds each. First, I initialize the search XT so that everything is in default position. I make the setting also parallel with the fixed filter envelope FEG here above, so you can hear the difference right away. Now 
I set the 24 dB low pass filter because this is also good to hear. Then I close the filter quite a bit and set the resonance to the middle again to make the effect more audible. First I adjust the FEG for polyphonic listening experience. Attack and decay to about 2 seconds. Sustain all the way down and release to about 3 quarters so it doesn't stop quite so abruptly. I adjust the release of the AEG, then the sound can decay a little. It's just nicer. The modulation I turn in with the F1 slider and determine which movement the filter should make. Path is the destination. <laughs> Here it is nice to hear how the filter opens and closes for each individual note. Wonderful polyphony. Okay, the F1 slider back in default position, that's nothing that nothing is modulated anymore. Now I want the paraphonic sound movement and to do this with the SLFO, the scene LFO, or rather with parts of the scene LFO. First I click with the right mouse button on the button SLFO1 and select Switch to Scene LFO1 EG only. With this, the modulation ignores the complete left part with the many different LFOs, sequencers and MSEGs. Only the right part, which is titled with LFO EG, will be used. There is now written DAHDSR, but this is only somewhat extended ADSR, namely delay, so delay, then attack, then hold for a certain time, so again a delay, then decay, then sustain, then release. But I'm only interested in a long attack of two seconds and a long decay of two seconds. And a quite low sustain and I leave the release up there because otherwise it might give off a funny squeak which I don't want to have here in any case. Now activate unipolar because I only want to modulate in one direction. So open the filter and close it again. Again click on the SLFO or just press the middle mouse button, then search XT goes into modulation mode for the last selected modulator. Now modulate the filter to the rightmost position, press the middle mouse button again to exit the modulation mode. If I now again play the three notes, holding directly one after the other, this sounds like this. Wonderful paraphony. The nice thing here, especially with the filter, is that despite the paraphony, the key tracking still works. So the filter position is adjusted based on the pitch, so that as in this example, a low pass does not cut off the sound of the high notes. Yes, and the mixing of both variants, the polyphony each tone individually and the paraphony all tones in the travel group <laughs> make the simultaneous movement, works as you probably wish now, even simultaneously. With a combination of a slow SLFO and a fast FEG, you can virtually make two filter movements at the same time. For each tone separately with a fast FEG, so polyphonic, and with a slow SLFO for the whole traveling group of tones, <laughs> so paraphonic. Or if you don't need to have it so complex, 
You could do a combination of filter and volume, like for example, a slow SLFO filter movement, so paraphonic, and then a volume AEG movement of the individual notes, here then polyphonic. With the individual polyphonic envelopes or modulations on the various, various uh, parameters such as filter, detuning, volume, feedback and so on, you already have a huge arsenal how you can keep the sound interesting in motion. Polyphony with a combination of paraphony allows you to additionally create a virtual relationship or audible grouping of tones or sound which can sometimes very effectively, or sometimes very subtle, contribute to a gluing of the sound, an important contribution. The Search XT synthesizer shows here once again wonderfully how much the different concepts can be separated, but also combined beautifully effective. A huge thanks goes to the developers of this wonderful synthesizer, which is not only open source, available for Linux, Windows and Mac, in various plugin formats such as VST3 and Clap, but also still at no cost. And who always have an open ear for my sometimes maybe a little off the wall questions and then also usually still a brilliant answer already, like in this case. Many thanks to the great search team. So now it's your turn. Please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Odo Sendai Dukai. Thanks for watching and paying attention. And if you have any questions or feedback, or you've noticed anything unusual, let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future. Take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.